Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my creation room. Uh, today we are going to try a colander pour. Um, so this was inspired by uh, Molly's Artistry, um, another YouTube uh, artist that I had seen this oh, oh a while back, but I've been really nervous to try it. So I think I've got everything in place. So today is actually inspired, um, I wanted to, I, I'm calling this the Labyrinth um, Colander Pour. So it's inspired by this piece here. This is um, a piece that I purchased from a gal. Uh, her company is called the Splinter Cat. Um, and she has a, a page on um, both Facebook and Instagram. Her name's Pam, but she made this beautiful, it's called, it's a labyrinth piece, uh, elaborate stone wrapped in copper in the tree of life. And then the back of it is open. So I love labyrinth. It, uh, is all about building your, the metaphoric reason, I meaning behind it is, um, about building your, uh, positivity, positive, positive energy, spirituality, and that. And then I have this piece here. I don't know if you can see. So this is the inspiration of my colors that I'm choosing today. I'm just going to put that baby right there down my space. So what I've chosen is this is actually oxidized purple with a little bit of silver metallic in it. And it's, I don't know if you can see, it leaves, it's a little bit thicker than I normally use. So it's, you use a mound on top of a mound and then disappears. And then I have a, like a metallic mauve. And I don't have much left in here. I've already poured my cup. I'm also using a um, iridescent violet. I don't know if you can tell. But when it's almost like a color shift. So when it's against a dark color, the violet comes out. Just a shimmer. I'm using permanent magenta um, as well. Because there is like the pinky colors in the labyrinth. This is my new, one of my new favorite colors is blue green by Amsterdam. And uh, again, it's a mound on a mound. I'm using... Uh, Parisian blue instead of black just to bring some depth to it and it's like a, a dark blue it, it um, dries very dark but it's, it's rich and this is one of my new colors this color I was introduced from um, Mina uh, she's a artist on YouTube um, Val Mina Velgaz uh, and it's called, it is, what is it called? Oh, shoot. It's called Pearl Pistachio Green. So sometimes when you're using white, it really kind of mutes the colors. And so I decided to use that instead. And then I'm using some neon green right beside it, like a yellow green right beside it. And then white. So my center is going to be white, um, which is my titanium white. And I think, so this is my layered cup. I'm using uh, seven ounces. It's probably way too much for this 12, um, 12 inch round. So I'm using a 12 inch round MDF board. I've taped the back. And that, it's a three quarter inch round. Uh, round. My um, husband beveled the edge for me. So great. And I'm putting it on my cake spinner. Well, maybe what I'll do is I have it on these cups, but I think I'm going to take them off the cups so it doesn't go flying off. And that's just to um, spread it out if I need to. I don't think I'm going to have to do too much of that. So, so this is strainer. I got colander strainer from Walmart and I've, it's got the little legs on it so that the paint can um, funnel through. And then I've 
um, taped off the center three. So I'm going to put that on there. I've layered my cup. I've got, so the rule of thumb is the first one, first color in the cup is the last color out. I kind of went heavy on the white, so I may have to adjust accordingly. Okay, so here we go. I don't know, you can see in. So I'm going to start on the outer rim here and then work my way in. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Oh, that look, look at that cup. It looks awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to let this sit for a little bit so that everything can drip out. Now I'm just going to slowly lift it. And come on. Okay, oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know if you can see in here, there's like a little candy kiss. So I'm just going to, my torch, I dropped it in paint. And so I don't, oh, hold on. Uh, yeah, I don't have my new one set up yet. So I'm going to use a heat gun just to blow, pop any bubbles that are in there. this a little bit. Okay. Just going to help the paint a little bit on the sides come down. I'm just going to take a look. Oh, look at the sides. I don't know if you guys can see that. No, you can only see the top view. Poop. Okay, let's see what I can do for you. Okay, I'm, I'm liking how this turned out. The, the center is a little darker than what I thought it would be, but it uh, turned out pretty cool. 